Michio Kaku, a renowned theoretical physicist, has revealed a startling finding found by the James Webb Space Telescope that reveals the telescope's current condition. Six enormous galaxies, each around the size of the Milky Way, have recently been discovered by NASA's multi-billion dollar telescope. A collection of ancient galaxies that shouldn't exist since they are so huge. The six enormous galaxies, which formed only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, but contain nearly as many stars as the Milky Way, have been termed Universe Breakers by the team of researchers that discovered them. That's because, if they're real, the discovery puts into question everything we know about how galaxies develop. So, what is JWST up to now? What kind of groundbreaking discovery is it about to uncover? You'll get to know this and plenty more as we dive into the details of today's show. However, before getting started with the video officially, here's a quick reminder that you can subscribe for free and like the video so that we can boost the algorithm. Comments are most welcomed. What's going around? It is not expected that the early universe will be able to organize itself that quickly. These galaxies theoretically should not have had time to form. Eric Nelson, an assistant professor of astrophysics at the University of Colorado Boulder and one of the researchers who helped make the discovery, said in a statement. While cosmologists have previously calculated that the process started slowly, taking shape within the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang, scientists do not know precisely when the earliest star clusters started to combine into the origins of the galaxies we see today. According to mainstream ideas, these early proto-galaxies reached adolescence between 1 and 2 billion years after the universe's creation, developing into dwarf galaxies that started consuming one another to develop into ones like our own Milky Way galaxy. Since light moves across space at a constant speed, the further into the universe we gaze, the more distant light we are able to intercept and the more into the past we can view. Astronomers discovered that huge galaxies had already burst into existence very rapidly after the Big Bang when the universe was barely 3% of its present age by using the James Webb Space Telescope to see around 13.5 billion years into the past. This makes us reevaluate what we previously knew. Because the galaxies are so enormous, 99% of the cosmology models are in tension with them. This indicates that either the models will need to be changed or the scientific theory of galaxy formation needs to be completely re-evaluated. In any case, it is yet another startling discovery by James Webb. Every year the Milky Way creates one to two new stars. For the duration of the cosmos, these galaxies would have to be producing hundreds of new stars every year. These galaxies will test the limits of our knowledge of cosmology if even one of them is real. Even while all available data indicates that these celestial objects are galaxies at this time, astronomers haven't ruled out the possibility that some of them may actually be huge quasars or supermassive black holes. However, much mass has been found. The known mass of stars at this stage in the history of the universe is up to 100 times greater than was previously believed to exist. This is a remarkable change even if the sample size is halved. The huge galaxies were not seen in earlier Hubble Space Telescope images of the early cosmos, but JWST is nearly 100 times more powerful than Hubble. Since its launch, the Space Observatory has lived up to its promise of reading the oldest chapters of the universe's history in its tiniest glimmers of light. This is not the first time James Webb has made us reevaluate how we perceive the universe. It only discovered a groundbreaking revelation regarding the Big Bang Theory last year. Big Bang and JWST Do you recall the Big Bang Theory's iconic opening scene? Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state when nearly 14 billion years ago, expansion started. And it's probably how a lot of people first learned about the Big Bang Theory, which states that our universe originated from a hot soup and burst into existence with a bang. The widely accepted hypothesis was put forth in 1927 and argues that our universe originated from a single point and expanded and contracted over the following 13.8 billion years to become the continuously expanding cosmos that we know today. With a budget of $1 billion, astronomers, physicists and engineers from all around the world set out to build a next-generation telescope in 1996, a piece of equipment for space. That would be Hubble's successor, 
and it would be unlike any other seen before. The James Webb Space Telescope, a very complicated piece of space hardware that would fundamentally alter our view of the universe and, by extension, our understanding of our cosmic origins and history in the cosmos, was finally completed after 25 years, $12 billion and innumerable delays and failures. While not exactly a device that would allow us to physically travel back in time, our goal was to construct a massive time machine, but one that would provide us with glimpses of the universe in its infancy. However, given how far back in time we are investigating, there will inevitably be surprises, and not all of them will be nice, some will be shocking. And the James Webb Telescope has just revealed the largest stunner in history, which is causing panic in the hearts of cosmologists, astronomers and regular people like you and me. James Webb has been identifying gaps in our knowledge of the universe with each new discovery. James Webb's most recent discovery wins. It is the most stunning of all discoveries, one that is forcing cosmologists and astronomers to re-evaluate all they have ever believed about the nature of the cosmos. The Big Bang Theory might be refuted by James Webb's recent findings of some of the oldest galaxies. The conventional cosmological paradigm has long been contested, but this revelation has left everyone in a state of disbelief. The State of JWST – Finding Answers With all the ambiguities and some obscure realities, JWST is set to uncover all the dust to reveal what has been a mystery and labyrinth. Today, science is all about challenging assumptions, but it's frightful to say the least to see such a major cosmic event being questioned. How did humans come into being if the Big Bang didn't occur at that time? What is the origin of all these galaxies, nebulae, stars and planets? Who is pulling on the universe's fabric? Are the engineers of our world something entirely beyond our comprehension, or are we actually living in a simulation made by highly developed alien beings? I apologise for going off on this tangent. I don't know about you, but this new finding has made me wonder about reality as we know it and has given me a continual subliminal fear. So let's pause to gather our thoughts before turning around. The Big Bang was a hoax. How does Webb support that? The first observations made with the James Webb Space Telescope appear to show old, large and brilliant galaxies that formed within the first 250 million years following the Big Bang. One of these galaxies is Sears 9-3316, which, 235 million years after the Great Bang, it already existed. Because of how far away this galaxy is, it took around 13.5 billion years for its lights to reach us. Numerous additional galaxies of this type seem to be more massive than predicted by the conventional cosmological model, which defines the universe's development and composition. Finding old, smooth galaxies so soon after the Big Bang should have happened is worrying. It would not have been possible for them to fully coalesce into galaxies in the 250 million years after the Big Bang. We can see them today, so they have to have begun to form before the Big Bang. But everything in our universe began with the Big Bang. So the question is, did the Big Bang actually occur? Even galaxies with higher luminosity and mass than the Milky Way galaxy appear to be two to three times smaller in these photos than in comparable images seen with the Hubble, and the new galaxies have red shifts that are likewise two to three times greater. To emphasize the point, the optical illusion makes objects with high redshift look bigger and brighter in any expanding universe. Their apparent brightness to apparent area ratio, which measures their surface brightness, therefore significantly decreases with redshift. However, based on measurements of tens of thousands of galaxies, it may be concluded that surface brightness remains absolutely constant with distance, as would be predicted in a universe that is not expanding. Additionally, fading did not happen until observations revealed the surface brightness. With an expanding cosmos, this is by no means what one would anticipate. The furthest galaxies in the JWST photographs are viewed as they were only 400 to 500 million years after the beginning of the universe, in accordance with the Big Bang Theory. Yet some galaxies have already shown star populations that are more than a billion years old. The presence of these galaxies proves that the Big Bang did not actually happen, as nothing could have started before it. In response, proponents of the Big Bang Theory assert that galaxies were considerably smaller in the distant past and have since grown significantly, explaining the surface brightness. However, observations have also refuted this correction, demonstrating that there haven't been enough galaxy mergers to provide the required growth rates. 
Additionally, the hypothesized ultra-small galaxies would have to have more mass in their stars than their overall mass, which is obviously impossible. Let's simply assume that the Big Bang did occur despite all of this and the numerous objections. So there can't be any galaxies that are older than the Big Bang itself. This implies that there would be fewer galaxies, and finally, none as Webb looked further back in time and into space. However, a recent study that has not yet been accepted for publication in Nature shows that galaxies as huge as the Milky Way are common even a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The latest Webb photos, according to the scientists, demonstrate that there are at least 100,000 times more galaxies than what theorists expected at redshifts greater than 10. So many massive galaxies cannot possibly be created in such a short period of time. So once more, no Great Bang. But why isn't this news garnering as much interest as, say, the most recent image of Jupiter? Why are major news organizations not covering the Big Bang Theory's demise? Unfortunately, financing for cosmology comes from a small number of government agencies that are overseen by a small number of committees with a Big Bang Theorist bias. The Big Bang Theory has been built by these theorists for their whole lifetimes, and others who publicly disagree with the theory don't receive funding. Truth, however, always finds a way. It is just a matter of time before we begin focusing on a genuine Genesis story for the universe, rather than the conventional one that we've been fed for decades, especially as Webb continues to reveal more photos of the early universe. So what is your take on the occurrence of the Big Bang? Do let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It will help us to understand our audience and allows YouTube to suggest similar videos to you. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you at the next one.